Hi guys, it's the Awesome Bear Grills, and this is another Minecraft video. Um, today, it's not really going to be tutorial, I'm just going to be like kind of like talking about stuff a little, and um, show you what I'm doing right now, which is, it's not really a mega build, but it's kind of like one of my first big like projects, you know, it's not just like my house, which is I'm building this bridge that's like all cool looking and like old fashioned over to that, um, to this side of the bay where I'm going to be possibly building some other buildings and houses and stuff maybe making like another base of operations it's not that far away and um, I think I'll use my six only gold ingots to make some powered rails for a track cause um... what's it called? this is um, just gonna go over there and I want it to be easy to get there so yeah but I'm not sure if I'll do that um, leave in the comments what you think I should do um, I'm just on the fence I don't really know It'd be kind of cool, but it might take away from the feel. And right now, you guys are getting a preview of my custom texture pack, which I've done very little to except change the texture for cobblestone so far, torches, and a few other things. And it's going to be castle craft, so it's all kind of castle y looking. And it's kind of designed to make cool, like, castles and stuff. But yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like. And this is the bridge so far. I'm going to be putting these supports all the way along. And they do go all the way down into the water to the bottom. That's what it looks like on the inside, which is pretty cool. And, yeah, so, I'm just going to be working on building this and talking about some stuff. And so far, my mob trap, oh yeah, one quick side note I want to show you guys. My mob trap has been really successful, even though sometimes, like, I feel like Minecraft, like, recognizes that you're AFK and just, like, slows the game down or something, or I don't know what it is, really. But some, like, I leave, I've left it AFK for three nights. And sometimes I get, like, just one stack of everything, and it really, like, doesn't do much. Like, that's what I get in, like, five or ten minutes. But one night, I filled up my entire inventory and got all this, and I probably would have gotten more if I'd, like, checked on in the middle of the night. And I have some more stuff, too. But I'll be making some TNT and doing a 15K subs probably next video. And um, one other little update, and now I'm going to go back to building the bridge, is that um, I made another video before this where I built a silo, but it's failed to upload four or five times in a row. So I'm not sure if the video file is corrupted or not, but I'll just show you guys this in case I can't get it up. And this will, that'll be like the last episode. Just a little silo with farm stuff, um, reeds, and saplings. And in my texture pack, for some reason, there's just no texture for um, birch saplings, and I don't know where it goes. So I'm going to try and fix that, but yeah. Mm. Yeah, so I've been thinking about the whole mods thing, and I've seen some ideas about mods that you guys might want me to use and stuff. And what I've been thinking of like two mod. There's like um really only like one mod I really want to do, which is the um, Obsidian Tools mod, and it kind of comes in a mod package with a couple other things with a couple other things like um one mod I talked about um the realistic axe mod that makes axes faster at destroying fences and work tables and stuff and also it also has a grenade launcher you can build and you build oh whoa gotta finish that and you can actually build grenades that it shoots with two blocks of iron it used to be two cobblestone for some reason and it's um has the physics of a bow and arrow and then um it turns into live TNT when it hits something. So I thought that was pretty cool actually. And um, then also, what's it called? The last, and I think that's all it does. I think it originally had better light, but better light is actually now smooth lighting in Minecraft came because Notch installed the better light mod. I believe that's what happened. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I'd like to know because I'm pretty sure that's what happened, but yeah. Hmm. And yeah, so that's the main one. Those are the main. That's the main one I've been thinking of. And then the obsidian tools is just. It also it makes um. You can make all the different types of tools out of obsidian. And then there's all. It also allows you to make an obsidian paxel, which is a combined, sto um, pick, axe, and spade, which can do pretty much anything. And there's also um. Uh, pick and shovel combined, but I'm not sure. Um. I want to use that or not. And then 
It also lets you make diamond paxels and probably the shovel pick thing. But yeah, so that's pretty much what the mods I'm thinking about have been. And um, not much else. I haven't worked on the shaft in actually quite a while, but I'm meaning to do that again and make some more progress. And um, again, in this video, um, tell me if you want to what's it called um make if you think I should make that into a mob trap or not um I kind of think I'm not really I'm kind of on the fence about that I don't know if I want to do it or not but um it would be pretty cool though just have another mob trap I don't know I think if I did make another one I'd make a sky mob trap actually but those take a lot of resources so yeah it'd be a while before I did one of those if at all <clears throat> And if I did, it'd be, you know, I would do like a full the making of for that because there's a lot of questions about mob traps and I think those are kind of the more popular kind even though they're harder to do and take a lot more work, I, in my opinion. Whoa, oh, that was close. I would have sucked if I landed on the ground. And I'm going to take a moment to kill these sheets. I'll actually just get their wool. But yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, basically the way, if you want to be able to have, like, lots of cool wool stuff and, like, awesomely patterned houses, you just basically, just whenever you see a sheep while you're going around, you just kill it. And, yeah. So, there's a really cool valley over there and some more cool mountains. And, yeah, so that's why I thought this might be a worthy place to build some stuff. I decided to build this cool bridge over here. And that's kind of the backstory of this project. So yeah. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Alright, filling in the hole. Let's see how long I've been going on this. Mm, seven minutes. Yeah, I'll probably do some talks more. Um yeah, so I'm just building this um yeah, so tell me what you think about making a railway system over here, and if there's any cool stuff you think I should make um, when I come over here, um, tell me what you think it is, what you think I should do, uh, I think, what you think I should do, because I'm open to suggestions, other than, like, you know, probably the obvious of, like, more houses and maybe other cool stuff. And then I've also um, worked on clearing out the big beach that is, like, right there and I'm gonna get it even a little bigger by clearing away some more dirt and I'm um, adding in a little more sand just because I kinda don't want animals where I'm making like a like you know actually like a legit mega build that's probably what it'll be I'll just make like some giant I'm, I've been thinking about either a cathedral or um maybe like a mega tree with treehouse or something I don't know but I've been thinking about that and I don't really want animals all over the place and there's already a lot of sand so I just felt like making it a big sand field, and yeah. And basically, also, in case you guys were wondering about the um, design I used for what's it called for these little crenellations over here on the side, it's just um two stone steps, like, like you know, like um stairs, I guess, like this. And there you go. That's how you do that. It also can look really cool for like making windows on like a wooden house and I might use this if I make I wonder if I need to start carrying a bow and arrow around. I wonder if you can shoot through through that. Cause that'd be cool to make like crenellations on a castle because I wanna build some epic castle eventually with this pack and I um yeah. Pretty much. So, um, I don't have much else to say. I'm just going to continue on. This is really, it's not a big build. It's cool, but it'll probably take like two hours to finish. It's not that much. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And um, God bless and have a nice day. Bye, guys.